Hello and welcome to this service of midday prayer on July the 10th. It's lovely to be here with you. It's lovely to share this time with you as we come before God, bringing all that we are and all that's on our hearts. Today we're going to be using the liturgy of the Northumbria community. So let's just take a moment or two to prepare to meet with God. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. Establish thou the work of our hands. Establish thou the work of our hands. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. A declaration of faith. We believe and trust in God, the Father Almighty, we believe and trust in Jesus Christ, his only Son. We believe and trust in the Holy Spirit. We believe and trust in the three in one. A canticle. Teach us, dear Lord, to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. O oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days and let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish there the work of our hands and let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish thou the work of our hands, dear Lord. A reading from Psalm 80 verses 1 to 7. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who are enthroned upon the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh. Stir up your might and come to save us. Restore us, O God, let your face shine that we may be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry with your people's prayers? You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in full measure. You make us the scorn of our neighbours. Our enemies laugh among themselves. Restore us, O God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come now to a time of prayer to bring before God all that is in our hearts and also to listen to what God might be saying to us. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we bring before you this day all that we are, all that is in our hearts, all that we want to say to you. We give you thanks for your great mercy. We remember today our families and friends, the people whom we love, and we pray your blessing upon each and every one of them. We continue to pray for those whose lives have been affected in so many different ways by the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray for those who are ill at this time with the, with the disease, for those who are caring for them. We give thanks for the skill of our doctors and nurses and so many other health professionals. We pray too for those who are unwell with, with other illnesses, particularly those whose treatment and diagnosis has been put on hold. We pray your blessing upon them and their families. We continue to give thanks for all who are working so hard to ensure that the country can continue to function. Far too many people to name here, but you know, Lord, who they are. 
We pray today especially for those who are mourning loved ones. Pray that you would bring comfort to them. In a moment of silence, we bring before you any who are on our hearts this day, any situations or any people. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And a final blessing. Let nothing disturb thee, nothing affright thee. All things are passing. God never changeth. Patient endureth, attaineth to all things. Who God possesseth, in nothing is wanting. Alone God sufficeth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.